Our biggie coverage continues with another special guest. We have Eastern States Exposition President and CEO Gene Cassidy with us today. We're so thankful you are here today. Thank you so much. Thank you. So it's finally opening day here at the Big E. How does it feel to wel welcome people back for oh. this year, 2021? Awesome. It was really incredible this morning. It was very busy as we opened up at 8 o'clock. And uh, it was really, it did a hard good to see the, the way people were so engaged at the fair. I, I was greeted by a, a lady uh, on, her, on her scooter who was going about 90 miles an hour. I think she was probably about 90 years old. And she said, oh, Mr. Cass, she said, I am silly giddy. I'm so happy that the Big E is opening. And uh, I think that's been sort of the universal sentiment. And it, 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 it's very rewarding to be able to, to get back to business. You, you mentioned the vendors. So many of them were on the financial edge and, and giving them the opportunity to get back to business ourselves as well. Very important for the economy. We know the big topic has obviously been the COVID-19 pandemic, and some people may still have their concerns. We know the fair is back this year. What are you doing to keep people safe? So we've got a, a really big uh, advertising campaign going on, or as re recordings being broadcast right now as you and I speak, reminding people in, inside buildings to, to put their masks on. Uh, there's masks available for those who may come and have forgotten to bring one. Um, you know, there's the, the, the cleaning protocols at the Big E have always been very, very superior to begin with because we have to be concerned about a great deal of things besides COVID, E. coli, salmonella, equine encephalitis. So we have a tremendously complex uh, cleaning capacity. And of course, with COVID, we've got some new chemicals and whatnot that, that respond to that, that virus. So we've had foggers long before, you know, COVID made foggers popular. Uh, the agriculturist has been using them for, for generations. Uh, so we're in the best, really, we have the best capacity to keep people safe. And now we have to rely on people's um, sort of uh, their, their intuitiveness. A lot of people are used to the masks at this point. They have to be reminded a little bit about indoor masking. And so our staff is trying to keep people aware. We have buttons on and, uh, again, a great deal of signage, um, the ad campaign. And, I think, I think by and large, it may take a day to get everybody kind of comfortable, but I think by and large, people are responding quite positively. So obviously last year's fair was canceled, so more people than ever are going to be excited, but some people may still have the reservations because of COVID-19. What are you expecting for crowds this year? Well, I think uh, as you suggest, I mean, some people are going to be reticent about large crowds and some people may never return to a, an event that hosts large crowds again. So we anticipate that, that we're going to have a great fair. People who come are going to have a, have a ball. But I, you know, I don't anticipate setting any records, uh, to be sure. Uh, but I know that everybody who comes to the Biggie is going to enjoy themselves while they're here. We only have a little time left, but what can you tell us about the concerts tonight? I know everyone's very excited about Machine Gun Kelly. Yeah, so uh, MGK, and uh, everybody's hoping that he brings uh, his, a certain girlfriend with him. And, um, uh, yeah, he sold out in, 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 I think, maybe four minutes, something to, like that. People are, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big name, it's a big deal. We're used to that at the Big E. We, we, we bring big names to, to Western Mass. Uh, so it'll be a delight to have him, and, and I, hope he, I hope he has some fun too. I think he will. I think everyone's looking forward to him. Are you looking forward to it? I, I sure am, I, I, although I have to admit I had to Google kind of like who he was. I, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in that other age bracket. But we've got some great entertainment coming up. Tomorrow we've got Billy Idol, who's like sort of my thing probably. <laughs> uh, Styx will be up on the stage at some point. And we've got Big Bad Voodoo Daddies and uh, Don McLean from way back in the day. And uh, 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 Daryl McDaniels from Run DMC will be here. He's got a, a great show. He's a very interesting guy. He'll do... He'll do his entertaining, but he'll do a little spoken word too. He's got a great story, uh, and there's just so much to do and see besides uh, Machine Gun Kelly tonight. So we've got two weeks of great fun. Seventeen days of great fun. Well, we're looking forward to it. Thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Paris.